Ok, so time to figure out why the battery pack won't start. Since this is a reverse engineering channel, let's tear it down. Okay, so yeah, I'm a bit of a dummy. There is a micro switch here. Uh, some of you also commented in the video about the micro switch that this cover needs to be in place in order to boot up the battery. And yeah, I should have read the manual. But now I have read the manual and um, I don't think it was just the micro switch because the manual also mentioned that the individual packs need to be at least over 45 volts in order to start the system. But some of the packs were actually sitting at 44 volts, so this manual balancing that I did was actually necessary. But now you can see that uh, this switch, I have just looped a wire around it so that I can start this thing without uh, actually putting the cover on. So now, if I flip the switch, there's no click. It doesn't just flip back. So the battery has booted and um, this LED is now operating and uh, yeah, switch is on. Perfect. Uh, let's start actually installing this. Okay, maybe you heard it or... okay, so now we have the wires fed through and uh, uh, yeah, they're the same color for positive and negative, but uh, I have uh, marked uh, one wire with uh, some tape, so I know that it's the positive one. And uh, we already have a DC disconnect switch for the panels themselves, but uh, we need to add another uh, switch for the battery now, so that you can like quickly disconnect it from the inverter side if you want to do that. So yeah, we'll mount that on the wall. There we go, I now have a matching DC breaker for the battery and um, I'm not gonna bother tightening down the cables uh, like real professional here because this is a temporary battery so this setup will change soon but uh, yeah, now I can open up the inverter of course shut it down first of all and uh, those of you who don't know, uh, you're supposed to first shut off the AC line like so and then disconnect the actual solar panels because otherwise if you open this it might arc inside so it's best to like turn off the inverter first but right now it is night time so this wouldn't really have been an issue but yeah good stuff to know so now I will remove the cover of this inverter and mount the DC lines to it. Uh, this is what the Fronios inverter looks like naked. Uh, so underneath this uh, black panel there is uh, all the connections. But basically the top part is just one giant heat sink. It's pretty cool looking. So yeah, I'll open this. And voila, on the left we have the voltage done and here on the right here is the new wire that I've pulled for the mod bus for the battery. Uh, this old cable here is for the smart meter, the one that measures power going in and out of the grid. So they are both connected here to this 
line that says mod boss. But yeah, this is turning into a very late night of tinkering. So I will try and hurry up because it it is freezing here outside. It's not fun to to work outside at all. But um, I will button this up now and uh, continue inside. Wow! Take a look at the finished install. It's um, almost looking professional. <laughs> almost. Okay, so it's the next day and I'm continuing with the commissioning. So now I'll turn this on and uh, I'm going to change the settings so that we can get a battery connected. So, but before I do that, I'm going to hook up the battery properly on the other side. So this is the battery. We have uh, positive and negative going into it from the inverter and also the communication cable here. So now it is the moment of truth and I'm gonna turn this on and uh, it stays on and the battery is uh, running and um, now I'm gonna go to the other side and finish setting the battery. Okay, it's been a day. I am proper stuck with this. For some reason I cannot get the battery to see the inverter and vice versa. The bid battery itself is uh, blinking this uh, error code. That means that the communication has some problem. And um, I have followed the official wiring diagram supplied by Fronius and it looks like this. Um, I've checked the terminating resistors, uh, this is uh, how I have done the wiring, I've followed this specific one that seems to be yeah, the one to use with this type of inverter. I've tried to set up the solar inverter with the mobile phone app and yeah, no dice. So uh, I'm a bit lost here but um, I want to get this video out maybe I, maybe some of you will give me some good tips on what to check uh, the last time you people were pretty awesome and uh, managed to find the fault so yeah maybe you can help me again uh, otherwise hope you enjoyed this video it's uh, really fun to be tinkering with some solar and uh, again massive thanks to all my patreon supporters for supporting this research and development. Dollar out.